In this video, I'm going to show you how to add CSS hover effects to your web app. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. This is a to-do list React app that I'm currently working on in CodePen. For the moment, I have the majority of the code in HTML and some styling in CSS. So in my HTML document, I have my basic title, the link to the CSS file, a font that I'm using, and then the scripts for the React app. Below that, I have my functions for my to-do list item and then my button to add a new list item. And then below that, I have my actual application that has several to-do list items. In my CSS, I have a basic styling for my body, the fonts throughout the list items, and the button. I'm going to want to add a box around each item so they stand out a little bit more in the UI and also add a hover effect so when the user's mouse is on an item, it actually scales up. So to do this, I'm going to go down to To Do Item and I already have several characteristics already signed. The first thing I'm going to do is add a box shadow around each item so they stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to type in box-shadow and with this, the first value represents the horizontal offset the second value represents the vertical offset. Then I'll set a blur radius and then the spread. And finally, a color that I will assign to that shadow. So first I will set a zero pixel horizontal offset, Y offset to two pixels. For my blur, I'm going to want to set it to eight pixels so it's nice and blurred out. And then for my spread, I'm going to set it to two pixels. That color is a little bit harsh so I'm going to set it to this other gray color. Next, I'm going to add a border radius to this so the actual items have a little bit of a curve to it. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a margin around each one because they're a little too close to one another. So I'm going to set the margin top to 20 so there's a little bit more breathing room between each item. Now I'm going to want to add a hover effect so when the cursor is over an item, it actually scales a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to write to do item colon hover. And now I'm going to set some hover values that I want to assign for this. So when the mouse is over an item, first I'm going to want it to transform a little bit. So I'm going to have a transformation with a value of scale and make it maybe 1.02. So it's only slightly bigger than what it normally is. Next, I'm going to modify the box shadow slightly. So I'm going to keep the horizontal and vertical offset the same, but I'm going to modify the blur and the spread and I'm going to keep it at that same color. So now when I hover over it, it goes from the regular to the hover state instantly, but I'm going to want to add a slight animation so it actually animates between the two states. So I'm going to go back to to do item. I'm going to add in a transition of 0.2 seconds. That is an ease in out curve. So now when I hover over it, it actually animates between the two states. So that's how I add CSS hover effects to my web apps. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.